Former Jaguars coach Tom Coughlin is raising awareness for an incurable disorder. He says his wife Judy was diagnosed last year with progressive supranuclear palsy. It's a brain disorder that affects a person's ability to walk, speak, think, and control their body movements. He says symptoms began four years ago and his wife's condition has slowly deteriorated. To discuss this, let's bring in Baptist Health Neurologist Dr. Puya Shulis. Thank you for coming on this morning. Uh, certainly sad news for a lot of people who not only know Tom Coughlin, but his family, his wife here in the community. And certainly when this came out, uh, that his wife Judy was dealing with this, a lot of people were, were heartbroken. Absolutely, yeah, thank you for having me. So doc, tell us how rare is this disease? Um, so it's actually pretty rare um, as far as the diseases go in general, uh, but we do see it pretty often in the neurology clinic. Um, I would say about out of every 100,000 people, uh, about one person develops PSV uh, every year, and about five in total are um, around present um, um, in society in general, five out of every 100,000 people. So pretty rare, but we still see it in clinic. And when we talk about neurological illnesses, a couple come to mind, right? Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, what's the difference here? Um, so they're actually very similar in some ways and then very different in some other ways. Um, and the way that the disease um, is generated, um, it's very similar to Alzheimer's disease. There is one certain molecule, a protein molecule in the brain um, that um, starts to develop and build up and that toxicity starts to kill the brain cells, one brain cell at a time um, until the brain starts to shrink um, and develop abnormalities with thinking, with movement, with walking. So that's very similar to what happens in Alzheimer's disease. But clinically, it looks very similar to Parkinson's. Very similar thing happens in Parkinson's too, uh, but Alzheimer's is more memory-related problems that patients have, um, but Parkinson's is more physical problems with movement and coordination and walking. Um, so a bit of both. And finally, a lot of people are going to be watching this wondering, what are the warning signs? I want to be able to look out for this in my loved ones. Yeah, um, typically uh, the first thing that happens in a patient with PSC is uh, problems with walking. So they have falls. Um, and I know that falls are a very frequent thing that happens to um, a lot of us as we age. But specifically with PSC, patients have an abnormal posture. They actually... Um, bend their backs backward and their head upward. So they end up falling backwards. Um, and that happens very often, very frequently. Uh, and then over years, it is a progressive disease. That's the first P in PSP, progressive. So very slow deterioration over time. Um, they start to develop problems with specifically their eye movements. So they won't be able to look up or look down just using their eyes. And um, if you already have problems with walking and you're unable to look down at the ground to see where you're walking, then unfortunately there's gonna be even more falls and falls equal injury, breaking hips, breaking legs, and kind of it goes downhill from there. In addition to that, um, they develop slow movements and um, certain personality and behavioral changes too. Dr. Puya Shulis, thank you for coming on representing Baptist Health. Certainly this morning, our hearts, our concerns go out to the Coughlin family. Thank you. Thank you for having me.